my real wonderful lawn. Hi, Wayne here with MRW Lawns, out front of my office again. Uh, today we're going to do a little aerating and overseeding of our lawn. So I wanted to show you how that process works and uh, how we get the results from it. So basically the first thing we did is we mow this area down a little shorter than normal. We want to have it about two and a half inches tall. So let's check our height here. It looks like we're right at two and a half inches. And what that's going to do is it's going to get rid of some of the top foliage for a couple of reasons. We want to overseed this when we're done and we want that seed to make it down to the soil. So we want to get rid of some top foliage to allow it to make its way down. We also are going to avoid mowing this lawn for another 10 days or so. And by cutting it a little shorter now, that will allow it to grow over the next 10 days without it being too tall when we go to cut it the next time. So that's step number one. Okay, so here we are, step number two. We're going to crank up the aerator and uh, we're going to poke some holes in the ground and basically remove a plug of soil and that's going to relieve the compaction in the soil and make for better air, water, and seed penetration. Okay, so we ran the aerator across here and you can see what it's doing. It's removing little plugs of soil, about as big as your pinky or so. And by removing that plug, it's making a hole straight down into the ground. And that hole is going to take air, water, and nutrients and get them right down to the roots of the grass plant where it's needed the most. And if there's any thatch on top of your soil, it'll help to break that up as well. And you can avoid dethatching over years when you aerate uh, every year or two. Okay, so the last step of our core aeration with overseeding pro project is to overseed it with a turf type tall fescue. And what will happen is the seed by broadcasting it out will fall into the holes and make their way into the soil and actually thicken up the lawn. Okay, so this is our slice seeder machine. After we've got the lawn aerated and seeded, we run across it with this renovator. And what it is, it's a, it's a set of fixed blades. They're about an inch and a half apart. And what they do is they spin around and they cut into the soil about a quarter of an inch. And you can see they're about an inch and a half apart. And what that's doing is pushing the seed into the ground and making more or less cornrows of little grass seed to grow and uh, fill the lawn in. Okay, so we got our lawn aerated and we actually went ahead and overseeded it with the turf type tall fescue. Uh, we marked our sprinkler heads and valve boxes. You can pick up marking flags from just about any hardware store and go around and mark those objects out. Even objects that are underground less than three inches, say an invisible dog fence, you want to make sure you get those marked off as well so you don't hit them with the aerator. So we, we got the lawn aerated here, we put our seed down, we're getting ready to run the slice seeder across it. Okay, so we got the lawn slice seeded and you can see what it's done here is it's created a groove in the soil about an inch and a half apart and about a quarter of an inch down. And that's taken the seed and it's worked its way into the soil uh, where it's going to uh, uh, germinate the best. And uh, it's also cut up these cores. If you notice, there's a few left, but most of them have been chopped up and that effectively top dressed the lawn with those cores to also uh, keep the seed protected and covered up. Now as we move over to a more of a full grass area, or a semi-full grass area, you can see the thatch has been kind of dug up and the old grass blades have been chopped up here. And what we'll do is we'll take a leaf blower and we'll blow these around and distribute them evenly across the lawn. They'll dry up and they'll also act as a top dressing to keep that seed in place. Okay, so the last step of our core renovation process is to go around any areas we couldn't get to with our machine and use our hand weasel to work that seed into the ground. So if we have sprinkler heads or valve boxes or a sidewalk or so forth, uh, we want to make sure we get those areas worked up because seed just laying on soil isn't going to grow. You have to work that soil up either by slicing it or by weaseling it to get it all to fill in uniformly. Okay, so we've shown you the, the process of core slice seeding and now's the time to get into schedule. The best, absolute best time to core seed or to aerate seed is that last week of August all the way through October. And we're scheduling now, give us a call, 301-870-3411. And these ladies here will take your call, get you set up in the schedule, and get that lawn renovated this fall. My real wonderful lawn.